to all the issues Lord keep me from going mental Help me sure love bed ain't simple And stay woke on Instagram Hello everyone and welcome back to CHH Hysteria, a podcast for CHH about everything CHH. I am your host Cole. And I'm your co-host Cooper. And today we are doing our monthly artist showcase. And what an artist showcase is for um, those of you that might be new or those of you that just need a refresh. Pretty much every single month, um, Cooper and I are going to be talking about an up-and-coming Christian hip-hop artist, which means less than 25,000 streams on Spotify. And you can't have a song over a million views just because we um, feel like that's a pretty good standard. Um, but we do this because we just want to put the smaller state on blast. We think there's a ton of talent out there. But today, we are talking about 350. You, um, he's a South Texas rapper. He's about 15,000 monthly listeners as this recording. Um, so, you know, he's starting to get pretty big. And he's got features from like 1K Few, which is over there on Reach Records. He got featured from Not Clyde. I mean, he's starting to get some big features with some big names. And actually, the other day, we were watching the um, Back Back to the Wick. I mean, I forgot the name and title, but Holby's new track. Um, there's an after party on Rapzilla, and he got a co-sign from Holby. So, you know, that's always good stuff. But um, enjoy this short snippet of one of his tracks. Uh, they don't call me three, five, one, eight. Just for nothing, we could be fine. You could be right just for touching. All right, so Cooper, what do you think about 350? So, I think 350 um, is an interesting case for me personally. Um, Because I don't really like the sound of his newer voice, like the auto tune that he uses. But I love, like, I really like his voice on the older stuff that he uses, that he has. It's like his Y project, I really, really enjoyed. Um, and then, but the only outlier to the, um, to me not liking uh, his newer, like, auto, not necessarily auto-tune, but, like, the the style of his newer songs for his voice, um, is Saint. I thought Saint was really good at a really strong feature, um, from Mike. Um, and I really like... I'm pretty sure 350 uh, is the feature on that song. <laughs> there's a, okay. Um, there might, yeah, I think, actually, yeah, I think it is. That makes sense. Um... But I really like how he uh, his flow and uh, how he switched speeds on his verse. Uh, on, like, I think it was the second verse. Uh, like he switched speeds, and I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, and I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. Um, and then his YI project um, was really vibey. Like I felt like I could just turn it on and just vibe to it, and like like vibe to it a lot. Um, Undisturbed was really really good, and same with You Know Why. I um, out of the two, I preferred You Know Why. Uh, it was a little bit more vulnerable, um, and it's just it uh, it was just a really good song, um, and like I said, I, I could just turn it on and just straight vibe to it. Like I could just I listen to it for hours and hours and just vibe. Um, um, and isn't that project? Is it like it's a, it's a double single? Isn't that from twenty twenty? Yeah, I think so. Either that or gotcha. it's, uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, say that's not old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but... Well, older quotes. Mm. Um, and then, um, and like, you know, yeah, uh, but like I said, he, uh, he has really good flows, like his flows are really good. His rhyme schemes are also really good. I noticed that just kind of, uh, randomly. Um, and then, like you said, he has really big features. Um, so I think he'll, uh, I think he will blow up in the future and I hope he does. But what did you think of him? No, I I really like 350. 350 to me is like a newer artist. I know he's been, um, kind of making big splashes within 2020, but I don't think I actually ever listened to him until last month uh, when I was putting together the Next Up CHH playlist. Uh, I came across his stuff. I can't remember how. I think it was a suggestion from someone, but um, dude's crazy. I really like his music. I really like his newer stuff as well, Um, but like he just came out with a song yesterday called Wilm. Um, That's really good, I thought. It's a vibey, kind of like a sad vibes type of track. Um, Definitely worth a check out. But um, Rob B just on Friday came out with a song called Soda and Vodka that um, features 350, and it is fantastic. Um, that's one of my favorite 350 verses personally. Um, I think that song's really good. You should definitely check that one out as well. Um, I know, Cooper, you were going to check that one out after the show. Um, but I, I think 350 is going places for real. Like, um, I mean, he's been, he's been getting a lot more monthly streams. I think in January, I think he was at 12,000. Don't quote me on that. 
Um, it's just from my memory. So, I mean, within just a month, if he's gained 3,000 streams, almost like, you know, that's uh, not stream, uh, monthly listeners, that's pretty impressive. Um, my personal three favorites, though, are East Side. That's the one with 1K. Super good. That was the first song I heard. It's his most popular one, um, and for a good reason. You know, 3-5 from the East Side. Um, and then I really like Goldie. That one's got Not Collide on it. Anything with a Not Collide on it is already a W for me. But um, I was a big fan of that one. And then Serotonin. Serotonin's more of like a, a, I don't know, it's just like super vibey. And, and I mean this in a really, really good way in the sense that like, it's not necessarily as much something I drive to. I mean, I drive to, I'd probably like, if it were, it would be something like, you know, like after rain in the dark. Like, I feel like that would be a good time to listen to that song in the car. But like when I'm working on something, putting serotonin on in the background is amazing. Like, it's just like, I can really focus to it. Um, but you know, just really nice sound. Love serotonin. Those are my top three tracks. Cooper, what would you say your top three tracks? So you, you kind of talked about a lot of different tracks, but what would you say your top three were? Uh, so undisturbed, um, which is on the Y project. Um, and then, you know why, and then saint for my three voices, but was, you know, why was that the one with Paris Chris or am I just blanking on which one that was? Uh, that was not to my knowledge. It wasn't with Paris Chris. I okay. Think, so. I know he had another double single. Now I'm slipping yeah. from the name. Um, but anyways, yeah. um, so moving on, what do you hope to see or expect to see within the next year or so? Um, I hope he collaborates with more bigger Argus. Um, like I hope he, you know, maybe collaborates with like, like even RG or, um, which is you know really big or Holy. RG would be cool. Uh, with, uh, I think Holby could do well. Um, uh, I hope, I personally hope, because I like his more, um, like, not Atlanta style, um, like with that auto tune on his voice. Um, I hope he does more of his older stuff, but I think either way he will be successful. Um, but I do, I don't mind his uh, newer stuff. I just don't like it as much. Uh, so I think if he does continue this track, he will grow uh, very, very. Into, into a very large artist. I think he will be one of the big artists in the future. Um, but the way he seems to be like grinding out songs, I think we'll re- see a lot of releases from him this, uh, next year. Um, if I were to guess, probably take a wild guess, maybe 12, uh, which is a lot. Uh, I might be overshooting too. But what do you expect to see him or want to see out of him? Uh, yeah, kind of what you said. I expect him to become really big within the next year or two. Like, my name is at 15,000 mostly listeners. I could see him sitting at, like, 100,000 within the next year yeah. or two. Or maybe, maybe not 100,000, maybe, like, fifty to 60,000, which is still really big um, within CHH, I feel like. Uh, so, yeah, I, f- I feel like he's going to blow up, especially with, like I said, um, he got a co-sign from Holvi. And, and, you know, probably not the first one, but that was the first time I heard Holvi talk about him, um, which is really big. And then Holvi's over there on the Reach camp, and... Doing songs with reach people almost guarantees quite a bit of streams. <laughs> Just kind of how it works in our industry, I feel like. Um, and I feel like, speaking of Holvi, I feel like he would make a really good song with Holvi. That's one feature I think would be really cool. I think it would be really cool to see him get a No Big Deal on track. I think um, he did a song with Joey Vannies that also had No Big Deal on it. Um, yeah. So it would be, be cool to see those two do a track just together. Um, yeah. But yeah, um, but that's all I got to say about him. So thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to check out 350's music. You can check it out on Spotify. We'll have a link to the description there below. Uh, follow him on Instagram, all that good stuff. You can find 350 in our Next Up CHH um, playlist. And yeah. leave in the comments or three what your favorite 350 track is. If you haven't heard of him, be sure to listen and come back and leave a comment. Um, and then also, if you want to join a community of CHH heads, be sure to join the CHH Corps. We just passed 300 members today. We got a few artists in there. Um, it's really active. And if you are an artist, it's a great place. If you join, you're an artist. Even if you're a small artist, you're guaranteed to for people to listen to your music if you're active there. Uh, we have a very welcoming community. But yeah, until next time.